Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. We are stretching it out today, and we're also smashing it out with the foam roller. I know that sounds funny, but that's really kind of what we're doing. We're smashing out all of those knots, that muscular tension that gets kind of bound up inside our bodies, and that's what causes pain and restriction of movement and irritation of nerve endings. So this is a simple tool that you can use to just make yourself feel better. It's really the poor man's massage is what I've often called it. But we are gonna do some squats first, our two minute set of squats, and then I'm gonna show you, show you, and I've already shown you before, but I'm gonna add on to it, um, a posture correction exercise that you can do if by chance you have a long foam roller. Now, if you've got just a short one like that, It'll kind of work, but you, you really kind of want the rest of your body. If your you know your head is up here and your upper spine is across this, you might want some pillows underneath your um, mid back and hips. But it actually could work with this. And then I'm going to use a stick. It's not necessary, um, but I'll just show you. You'll see when we get there. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna squat first, and then we'll do that correction exercise using the foam roller and then we'll go right in to the foam rolling to really prep the body for the yoga that we're going to do and then we'll just finish up with some stretches that are going to be great for your back and your hips um, I don't know if anybody did the abdominal exercises with me this week this past week where I was using the stick you know against the thigh and the other arm was over your head there and um, I'll tell you what, I only did like three sets and it was just for a few seconds, but my abdominals are sore like they haven't been in years. So if you miss that, you need to go back. And in fact, it's such a great exercise um, and I had just had never seen it done this way before. Um, that's why I wanted to integrate it in. So I will probably upload just a short little like one of those um, mini workout things that I've got in my YouTube channel of that particular exercise if by chance you missed it because you don't want to miss this this is like amazing <laughs> okay so let's do our uh, squats but I'm gonna start first with just a little warm-up of the ankles so just kind of circling your ankles around and around Another way. And switch. Good. Then we're going to do big giant circles with the leg up, out, and around. Five that way, and then five the other way. And then we'll do the other side, and then we should be good and ready. So we start by going across the midline, up, out, and down. So here's one. There's two. So this leg has to stand real strong. Three. And then around four around five. Now go the other direction so we come up on the side, across, down and out. This way is a little bit more awkward, a little bit more just unstable feeling. One more. Good. And then we're going to do the other side. So first around and across. There's two, three. So just loosening up those hips. Four. Mwah. And then five. Other way, up and across and down. Up and across and down. Up and across and down. Two more, up and across and down. One more, up and across and down. And then just kind of shake it out, wiggle it out. And then pick up your weights, whatever you're using for your squats. And here we go. So stand nice and tall. Feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart, maybe. Here we go. Inhale, breath, squatting down. Exhale, stand it up. Again, you can do wall sits. You can do quarter squats here, or come on down and then stand up tall. Inhale down, exhale up. <sighs> Trying to keep my eyes looking straight ahead at the same spot all the while I am squatting because the tendency is to look down and wherever you look with your eyes, the body goes. Hi, Eve, I see you. Your hot pink profile pic. <laughs> Inhale down, exhale out. <sighs> 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 
Let's do three more of this pace. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. One more time. Let's go down nice and slow. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Hold it steady and then just stand up quick. Do it again. Inhale slowly down. Four, three, two, one. Hold it there for a moment and then up fast. Again, inhale down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Hold it. Exhale up. And again, inhale breath slowly down. Up fast. Two more. Inhale slowly down. Exhale it up fast. Last time. Here we go. Inhale slowly down. One, two, three, four. Hold it there. And then stand up quick. Back to tempo. Down up eight. Inhale, exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two more, and we're done. One more. Good job. All right, shoulders up, back, and around. If you're holding weights, up, pull back, and down. Just two more. Inhale up, exhale, and down. Inhale up. Pull back, and exhale down. Okie dokie, drop those weights. And then just a swinging of those arms, front to back, cross, open up. All right, so get your foam roller out. If you have a long one, great. If not, just get your short one. And you're gonna sit in front of your foam roller if you have a short one. And then again, if you have a stick, go ahead and get that. Yeah. So the long one, unless you're like super, super tall, should be able to fit your bum right there on the very end and then come all the way down onto your back. So have your stick behind you here. And for right now, just simply let the arms open up. See if your hands and maybe your elbows can touch the floor. Mine's don't because I'm pretty tight as well here in the chest. And then just take a big inhale breath through the nose. And then on the exhale breath, just allow your shoulders to sort of fold and drape over that foam roller. Try to draw the belly in, try to flatten your back into the roller. And again, inhale breath. And then exhale it out. All right, so just, if you don't have a stick, just imagine that you're holding a stick like this. So what you wanna do is just slide the stick way over your head there, trying to keep your hands on the floor, and then bend the elbows as you slide it back in here. So draw that belly in. Inhale as you reach out, and then exhale, draw the elbows down. Inhale, breath, reaching the arms over your head. And then exhale, breath, draw the elbows down, squeezing through your upper back, try to push those elbows down. And as you do this, you might find you get a little looser and looser, and maybe now the elbows do touch the floor. Let's do four more of these. So we inhale breath, reaching the arms long over the head there, keeping your hands on the floor. Exhale breath, draw the elbows down. Inhale breath, reach. Really stretching out there. And then exhale breath, draw the elbows down. Two more times, inhale breath, reaching the arms over your head there. And then exhale, draw the belly in, draw the elbows down. Try to press your elbows down to the floor, see if they can touch now. Yeah, one more time, inhale breath, reach. And then exhale breath, navel to spine, back pressing in, draw the elbows down and try to push your elbows to the floor, hold it there. Good, and then just extend the arms up and you can just let that stick go. Now, clasp the hands together and reach the arms straight up over your chest. 
draw the belly in and then just a little bit of side to side there. So you're letting that foam roller roll on either side of the spinal column. So this, these set of muscles that just go alongside the spine, the erector spinae muscles, they look like just two pillars. If you've seen somebody very muscular with their shirt off, it's like two pillars that go alongside the spine. And those are the muscles that support the spine. So this is a nice little way to kind of massage them. All right, and then walk your feet together, draw the belly in, hands on the floor here. Can you just bring the right leg in, bring the left leg in, and simply hold and try to balance yourself just very lightly with your fingertips. I know you're gonna fall off if you totally let go, but just try to squeeze your abdominals down and in. See if you can kind of balance there. Yay. All right, set the feet down. Roll off to one side. Come on off, and then let's come up. And then I want you to flip your foam roller around that way. And we will start by foam rolling the gluteus maximus muscles. So you're sitting right on top, hands behind. And we're just going to slowly roll back and forth across a span of maybe 10, 12 inches, just going right across those glute muscles and then rolling this way to get right to the top of the hamstrings there. So you're coming forwards. When you come forwards, shoulders drop back, abs engage a little bit there and then push the hips back and then tuck the hips under. And if you find a little spot that's particularly tense, that's a hot spot. Hang out, just breathe. Try to relax because the natural tendency is to sort of tense up away from it so as to not feel that discomfort, but you kind of want to let it be uncomfortable to kind of smash it out. And then you can do a little bit of rocking from left to right at that point, wherever that point might be on you. And you sort of feel like you're maybe rolling over bubble wrap. Sometimes that's what it feels like in the body. If you're really tight, really tense, got some knots in there, that'll help smash it out. It should feel like you're just literally popping over those bubble wrap bubbles. Okay, and then we're gonna come just up a little bit higher here, and then back and forth, side to side. All right, so let's target more the piriformis muscle, which is deep inside the gluteus group. And so you're gonna pick up your left foot, flex it and cross your ankle over. Then bring this right hand over here to grab a hold of the shin, knee or the ankle. So you wanna have this right buttock up off of the foam roller. So you're just completely on that left hip, left butt muscle. So just roll back and forth a little bit here. And again, find that hot spot. If you've got one, just kind of stay there and take a nice long calming inhale breath. And exhale it out. And then roll again, back and forth. This is a great way to prep before a stretch class, a yoga class. It really helps pre-stretch the muscles. So this really does improve flexibility in your muscles when you are foam rolling. So think about pizza dough, you know, it's like a big lump. And as you roll it out, it gets you know thinner and thinner and more and more stretched out. So your muscles are kind of the same way. Let's go to the other side. So cross right ankle over left, flex your foot, left hand grabs a hold. Get this cheek all the way up off of the roller and then just back and forth you go across the glute medius, the piriformis. So the benefit of doing it like this is that you're already stretching the piriformis muscle. Then you apply pressure with that foam roller. It just maximizes the benefit here of what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to just smash out the knots, break up any scar tissue that might be in there. You know, just little muscle fibers can get all out of whack and gnarly and bundled and folded over and stuck to each other. Kind of like hair, if you've ever had like rat, we used to call them rats in your hair, meaning just like a knot, you know, and you would just have to brush and brush and brush to get those knots out. Muscles are kind of the same way. You know, you kind of get rats in there. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Feels so good though. 
All right, so let's move on to, and I'm going to switch rollers here. This one's um, kind of long and um, don't have all the room in the world here in this little tiny room. <laughs> I'm going to put it right there above my waistband area, feet planted, hands behind the head, hips up. And now I'm just going to roll back and forth across kind of that mid-back region. So kind of keeping my head up a little bit, abdominals engaged a little bit. Just back and forth you go. If you feel sort of that hot spot, hang out. You can even drop the hips and then just allow that upper back to extend over the roller, stretching out that thoracic spine. Let your head drop back and breathe. Inhale, breath. Exhale it out. You can bring the head up, walk your feet in, lift the hips up. And now let's go a little bit more on the upper back. So we're hitting the lats, the rhomboids, the trapezius muscles, all those muscles right around the shoulder blades, just below the neck. This is where we tend to hold a lot of tension. So often this feels really therapeutic. And then again, you can just kind of drop your hips and then let your back arch over the roller. Let your elbows fall out to the side. Inhale, breath. And then exhale it out. Good, lift your head up. And then next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to hit the lat. So that's this big muscle that kind of starts up here at the um, shoulder and just goes all the way down into the side of your waist. So you're gonna flip over sideways and you're just gonna literally kind of park that foam roller right on that spot, right there. And you don't even really have to do much. Simply just laying here on the roller sometimes is enough pressure. And then you could just kind of roll a little bit back that way and then roll a little bit over this way. So you're not lifting all of your body up because that's almost too much pressure. Just this amount is probably gonna be fine for everybody. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you think you're fine and then you start doing this and it's like, wow, I am sore there. What did I do? Um, sometimes we're not even aware that we've got soreness in our body until we start doing something like this. You know, you think you're fine and then it's like, uh-oh, we discover. <laughs> Maybe not so much. And then you can kind of do a little bit of back and forth like that, front to back. Good, and then let's just do the other side. So set the foam roller over here. And again, this is your, these are your lats right there, latissimus dorsi muscle. So get it right there on top of that roller. And then just, you can do your hand right here behind your head and then just roll a little bit towards the ceiling and then roll a little bit oh, yeah, 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 towards the front. Oh man, oh man, oh man, to the back. And then over here to the front. So if it's too much pressure, all you gotta do is just kind of push down with your elbow there and hand here to sort of unload some of that weight so it's not so much of your body weight just like completely pressing in. So there's ways to sort of modify the pressure intensity. Good, and then you can also do the kind of front to back. So it's just an ever so slight roll, maybe only four to six inches right in there. Back and forth you go. So if you are by any chance feeling tenderness, a little bit of discomfort when you do this here, just know that it is something you need to do, that sometimes you might have pain in your neck or in your lower back or maybe your shoulder or elbow or even wrist. And it could be rooted all right in there in that uh, lat complex set of muscle groups. So when you're feeling that tenderness, it's, you know, you, you just never know how it's going to impact the body, either upstream or downstream, it can cause issues. All right, let's do our hamstrings. So put the foam roller right underneath your knees, hold yourself up and then just roll all the way up to the buttocks and then back down to the knees. And then just push your legs forwards there and then roll on back this way and push forwards and then come on back. You can kind of do a little 
just sort of side to side rolling. So you're hitting all edges, all sides of those muscle fibers in the hamstring group. Just a little back and forth. And then you can do a little side winder here as you're rolling back. So it's called pin and spin, where you sort of pin either the ball or the foam roller into a select location. And then as you spin around, it's kind of twisting that direction, stretching out those muscle fibers in a different pattern. All right, let's go on to the calves and we'll do one leg at a time. So park your left calf muscle right on top. And then you can use your hands to hold yourself up and let's just roll up to the back of the knee and then all the way back down to the ankle. And again, rolling up to the knee and then down to the ankle. And then you're gonna kind of roll it side to side like so. Ay, 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 ay. As you roll slowly, slowly up to the back of the knee and then roll it back down. So if you've ever had plantar fasciitis, which is just this serious pain in the heel of your foot, the bottom of your heel, sometimes it's because your calf muscles are super, super tight. Um, you know, sometimes it's because the plantar fascia needs to be stretched out, but stretching out your calf muscles can really bring great relief if you've ever had that. Um, if you haven't, count your blessings. If you have, you know, just what I'm talking about. It's very painful in the morning when you get up. It's hard to walk because it just feels like you're stepping on rocks or something inside your foot. But it stretches out over the course of the day, but I used to have plantar fasciitis pretty bad. And so I've just been in the habit, and even though I don't have it anymore, I still do it. First thing in the morning when I get out of bed before I even walk <laughs> anywhere, I'll flip over onto uh, my elbows and come into elbow plank and then just stretch my calves behind me one at a time and then start my day. So I just try to get it all stretched out before I even step down and feel that pain. All right, switch sides. So park your right knee right over the top. Use this foot to kind of help lift you up. And then you're gonna roll to the ankle and then back up to your knee. And then to the ankle and then to the knee. Good, and then just a little back and forth, side to side there. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> I've got some serious knots in my calves. It sure feels good though. I don't know how many of you have ever been in one of those deluxe massage chairs. Maybe some of you even have one of them, but you know, they periodically will have them at Costco or Sam's or, you know, different stores just as a demo. And you sit in the chair and it's just like it completely massages from your feet all the way up to your head. There's like these shiatsu things underneath the, the fabric there, but some of them have like this pocket for each calf muscle and it'll just like knead and squeeze around the calves. How many of you love that one? <laughs> if I could just have that machine alone, I would just, I would be in heaven. I just think that feels, it's one of those hurt so good things. Um, it just really feels wonderful to massage those calf muscles. All right, let's come on to the front. And we'll finish up the front side of the body and we'll get into some great stretches here. So come on to your anterior tibialis muscles. So that's the muscle right on the front of the shin bones. And you just go back and forth there. So I'm sitting all the way down on my heels, which means there's a lot more pressure on that muscle. If it's too much for you, come up here and then you're just going to draw the knees under and push back. So. The one caveat with this is now it becomes more of an abdominal exercise, which is not such a bad thing. So it looks a little bit like a mini jackknife exercise. So you just draw the knees under and then push back, knees under and then back and then back here, roll front to back. And then you can do a little shimmy kind of side winding like so. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. That feels so good. Okay, come onto your forearms. Let the foam roller get just above the knees and then bend your knees. If it's too intense, you can straighten the legs out. But try 
with the knees bent, push yourself back right to the tops of your thighs and then pull with your forearms to come back to the knees. So inhale as you go back. Exhale as you come up. Inhale, push back. Exhale, pull up. Now, let's do a little bit of windshield wiper action where the legs kind of flop a little bit from left to right. Now, I know if you're on a short one like me, you're almost falling off of the thing, so make sure you're dead center in the middle. And then just work your way back down to the knee. T. Then you're going to come up onto all fours. So on your hands and knees here in tabletop position. Take a big inhale breath and let your belly drop down. Lift the chin, look forwards. On an exhale breath, you're going to round the back, navel to spine, chin to the chest, spread your shoulder blades apart. Inhale breath, let that belly drop down, head up. And then exhale, breath, round your spine. Squeeze your abdominals. Inhale, breath, belly drops, head up. And then exhale, breath, rounding, pulling navel to spine. Hold the stretch here. Good, and then just return to flat back. You're gonna come down onto your forearms. I'm just gonna scoop myself a little bit further back this away. So onto your forearms here, tuck the toes under and back. Inhale breath. On an exhale, round the spine, chin to the chest. You're looking right back at your thighs. And then you're gonna lift the knees, straighten the legs, send the sit bones up, and then press your heels to the very back of the mat there. Try to stretch those calves, stretch those Achilles tendons one at a time, just back and forth, pedaling it out. Should feel really good. Stretching out even the toes right there where they connect into the foot body. And breathe, nice long inhale. Exhale it out. All right, so bring your feet together, super straight legs, engage through the shoulder girdle so you're not just kind of caved in here, but kind of extend through the shoulders. Let's lift the right leg up, inhale breath. Exhale breath, bend the knee, scoop the belly, draw the knee towards your triceps. Go back up, inhale. Exhale, do it again. Draw the knee under, lift your hips high, keep them high, bring that knee towards your right triceps. Inhale breath, right leg goes up. And then exhale breath, set your foot down next to the left and switch. So now left leg goes straight up, inhale. Exhale, bend the knee, lift the hips, rise up on the ball of your foot, squeeze your abs, bring that knee to your triceps. Go back up, inhale, reach. Exhale, bend the knee, lift the hips, lift the heel, put that knee right on your triceps. Inhale, breath, up you go. And then exhale, breath, set your foot down next to the other. And then drop your knees down, uncurl your toes, push back into extended child's pose stretch. Good, now just slide your hands all the way back to the knees, all the way up over your thighs, and then roll your shoulders around to the back. Good, and then we're gonna sweep both arms up over your head, inhale, breath. Exhale, chest expansion. So imagine that you're on that foam roller with that stick over your head and just push those elbows back so you open up through the chest, through the shoulders, come all the way down and interlace the fingers behind your back. Chest out, chin up, inhale, look up. On an exhale breath, you're gonna roll the belly right over the thighs there. You're gonna plant your forehead to the mat. You're gonna lift the hips and roll to the crown of the head and let your arms fall over. Release, set the hips down, release the hands, lift the arms up halfway, inhale. 
On an exhale breath, cross that right arm under the left, make an X, bend, back of the hands together, hook your thumbs, or come all the way around, palms together. Lift the elbows up and then push them away. Inhale, breath there. On an exhale, maybe lift the hips, tuck the pelvis under, and then sit back down. Draw the elbows towards your belly button. So really push that left elbow down into the right bicep. Good, now come back up slowly, unwrap, and then take both arms up over your head, inhale. Exhale, chest expansion again. So really pushing those arms as far back that way as you can, opening up through the chest and the shoulders. Come on down, interlace the fingers the opposite way this time around, inhale, breath. Chest out, chin up. Exhale, roll the belly forwards, head to the mat, roll to the crown of your head as the hips come up. Good release, and as you come down, let go of the hands. Inhale, breath, lift up halfway. Exhale, now we're gonna cross that left arm under the right, so make that X bend. You can go back to the hands together. You can hook your thumbs like so, or bring the palms together like that. Now, inhale, lift the elbows up to shoulder level. Exhale, push them away. Lift the hips and tuck the pelvis under, then draw the elbows down. You're kind of jamming that right elbow into the left bicep now, and feeling that wonderful stretch through the neck and the traps. Now coming back up slowly, unwrap, and then inhale, breath, arms come up over your head here. Exhale, draw the hands right to heart center, shoulders relax down, broaden the collarbone. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, breath, hands come to heart center. Good, so next what you're gonna do, if you uh, don't have a super squishy mat, I want you to do a little triple fold Thing here to put your knees on that for more comfort. So come up onto that part. Knees are about hip width apart. You're gonna tuck the toes under and back there. Tuck the tail under, firm the belly, shoulders back, chin level with the floor. Inhale, breath up. Now on an exhale breath, leave your right arm up there, turn to the left, drop this left hand down, see if you can park it right on top of that left heel. Then you're gonna push the hips forwards, look up. Inhale, breath. Good, now just drop the hips back a little bit. Float this arm back up, inhale. Exhale, turn to the right, keep your left arm up, drop right hand down, find your heel, park your hand right on it, and then push the hips forwards, and eyes are looking up at your hand there. Drop the hips back a little bit. Sweep this right arm back up, inhale. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, breath, sweeping both arms up. Exhale, breath, open the arms out to the sides. Maybe you drop the hips back a little bit. Park your hands on your heels there, and then try as best you can to push the hips forwards, roll the shoulders back, eyes up, inhale. Slowly drop your hips back down. Slowly bring your head up, not too fast. Need a little head rush there if you do. Place the hands there, uncurl the toes, round your spine, stretching it out in the opposite direction. Good, now coming back up. Tuck the toes under once more. Let's do that last one again. So inhale, breath, sweeping the arms up over your head here. Exhale, breath, chest expansion, arms opening up and around to the back. Maybe drop your hips back enough so you can get the hands right there. Then you push the pelvis forwards, open the chest, eyes up, inhale. Inhale. 
slowly, drop the hips back a bit. Head comes up slowly. And then walk your hands out in front, uncurl the toes, round your spine, pull the navel in, chin to the chest. Good, now just come off of your little triple fold if you did that and stretch the mat back out. Hands at the very top of the mat, toes tuck under there in back. Let's lift the knees up and come into plank. So top of a push up, nice straight body line from shoulders to heels. Flex the glutes, the quads, even the abdominals. Inhale breath. Exhale breath, lift the hips up, dive your head down so the head comes right between the biceps. Maybe you shimmy the toes back a little bit farther for downward facing dog. So really extend through the shoulders, nice strong arms. Let's pedal it out a little here, shifting the weight back and forth from foot to foot. Good, and then super straight legs. Let's do some three leg dogs. So right leg goes up, inhale, breath. Big split in the legs. Exhale, flex the foot, bend the knee, rotate the hips, take a peek underneath your right arm to the right side of the room. Circle your ankle around. Good, square up the hips and the shoulders, straighten the right leg up, inhale, big split. Exhale breath, come to plank, bring the knee under and I want you to tap the left elbow there. Go back up, inhale. Exhale, come to plank, bring the knee under, tap the elbow there. Once more, inhale breath up. This time on the exhale, bring that knee under and across, set the foot there in front and then stretch that left arm straight out over the head, inhale. Exhale breath, bring the hand down, bring the knee in between your hands and drop it into pigeon stretch. So lift the chest up first, inhale. And then exhale, lower the chest down slowly, just take your time. Come back up, inhale, looking forwards. Exhale, walk, walk, walk your hands out, come down a little more. Back up, inhale. And then exhale, walk the hands out however far you can go. Take it into pigeon and just breathe. Slide the hands back right beside the knee. Straighten the arms out as you lift up. Tuck the toes under and back. And as you lift the knee, inhale. Exhale, just step back into down dog. Feet together, sit bones up. And walk it out. Shift the weight back and forth, foot to foot. All right, so let's do all that on the other side. Lift your left leg up, three leg dog, inhale. Stretching those toes up as high as you can go. Exhale, flex your foot up there, bend the knee. So draw the heel towards the glutes and then rotate the hips. Take a peek underneath your left arm and breathe. Square it up, kick your leg up straight, inhale. And then exhale, breath, you're gonna shift it into plank. You're gonna bring this knee under, draw the abs in. As the knee comes under, angle it across, tap your right elbow. Do it again, inhale, breath up. Exhale, breath, shift to plank, scoop the belly in, knee comes under, touch that elbow. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, breath, bring that knee under. And then touch your elbow and then stretch that leg out straight and then reach the right arm over the ear here. Try to lift your hips up, inhale breath. Good, now set the right hand down, inhale. Exhale, draw the knee right in between the hands and then just drop it into pigeon stretch, allowing the chest to drop down over your thigh. Inhale, breath, press down to lift up. 
exhale, walk the hands out a little bit more. Come on down. Chest right over that thigh, head comes down. And one more time, come on up, inhale. And exhale, walk, walk, walk those hands way out in front, coming into pigeon, and just breathe. Slide the hands back right beside the knee. And as you straighten the arms up, lift the head up, tuck your toes under, knee up, inhale. And then exhale, send the sit bones up, step back, and then just walk it out, downward facing dog, stretching it out. Good, feet together, super straight legs, inhale. And exhale it out. Take your right leg up. Three leg dog, inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Come to plank and just cross right ankle over left ankle. So shoulders are right over your wrists and your gaze is out in front. Abs are pulled up. Do it again. Inhale, three leg dog up. Exhale, plank, ankle over ankle. One more, inhale up. Exhale, breath, come to plank, ankle over ankle. And then inhale, three leg dog, up you go. Exhale, bend the knee, lift the hips high, set your foot right up here between your hands and then drop the back knee down, uncurl the toes. Bringing your chest up, inhale, sweep those arms up over your head. Interlace the fingers and then stretch the arms up and back. Good, lower the arms down, hands to the mat, tuck the toes under, inhale, lift, and then exhale, step back into downward facing dog. Left leg, here we go, three leg dog, inhale. Exhale, breath, come into plank, so shoulders stack right over the wrists, you're gonna cross ankle over ankle, pull those abs up and in. Do it again, inhale, three leg dog up. Exhale, plank. Again, inhale, three leg dog, up you go. Exhale, plank, ankle over ankle, strong, tight body. Inhale, breath, three leg dog, up you go. Exhale, bend the knee, lift the hips and set that foot right up here in between the hands and then drop your back knee down. From here, sweep your arms up over the head, inhale. Interlace, exhale, push those palms up, biceps right beside the ears there. Push straight up. Good, lower the hands down to the mat, tuck your toes under, straighten the leg, inhale. And then exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Here we go, right leg up, inhale, breath, three leg dog. And then exhale, bend the knee, set that foot right in between your hands here. Now keep the back leg straight, come up into a crescent lunge, inhale. Interlace the fingers and then again, you're gonna push the palms straight up, lengthening those arms, pulling the biceps right beside your ears. Breathe, inhale, breath. And then exhale, breath, hands to the mat, step back into down dog. Inhale, breath once here. And exhale it out. Three leg dog with the left, inhale, breath up you go. Exhale, bend the knee, set that foot right in between the hands there, and then up you go into crescent lunge on this side. Inhale, reaching up. Interlace, push the palms up. Drop the hips down a little lower. Stretch that torso up and away from the hips. Breathe, inhale. 
And then exhale, breath. Hands to the mat. Step back into down dog. Inhale, breath. And exhale it out. Inhale, breath. Right leg goes up. Exhale, breath. This time I want you to set your foot outside, so real wide outside of this right hand. And then you're going to drop the back knee down, uncurl the toes. You're going to walk this left hand out towards the center of the mat, but way out in front, maybe even off the mat. Now your right arm is just going to hug your thigh. So grab around the outside of your thigh and then slightly start to twist to the right. Let this left hip come down towards the floor. So you're going to feel a beautiful stretch all the way down the side of your waist into that hip. You're trying to look over your shoulder there. Breathe. Good. Slowly rotate back to face the front. And then from here, bring both hands inside. Come up high on the fingertips and look forwards. Inhale. On an exhale, can you pick this left foot up and just swivel on the knee, set the foot over there, and then drop this shoulder down inside of that right knee. Come down however far you can. You're gonna feel a wonderful opening up in the hips, in the inner thighs, specifically here. So you're trying to push that right knee to the front and drop those hips down. Breathe. Now slowly, just a little push with that right foot to come back up. Pick up your left foot, swivel it around, and then one hand on either side now of this foot. Tuck your toes under, straighten the knee, inhale. Exhale, step back into downward facing dog. One nice long breath here, inhale. Exhale, reach the sit bones up, super strong arms, spread those fingers wide apart. You should just be smashing your palms and every fingertip pad into that mat. Here we go with the left leg. Inhale, breath, reaching the toes up, three leg dog. On an exhale breath, you're gonna swing the foot here to the outside, so out to the very out. And then you're gonna drop the back knee down. Uncurl your toes. Good, now hug your knee here with this arm and then start to shift the hips over to the right edge of the mat, like so. So this right shoulder comes forwards, left one goes back, eyes looking around back towards that foot and just try to sink that right hip down towards the floor. So you should feel the stretch go all the way across the outer thigh up into this lateral torso. Slowly come back out of that. So rotate back around to face the front. Bring both hands here on the inside, high on the fingertips, inhale. On the exhale, pick up that back foot and swivel on the knee a bit and set your foot over there. And then this knee pushes that way, chest drops down. So nice opening up of the hips here, all the way up into the groin. Come back up, pick up your foot, swivel it around, and then hands on either side of this foot there. Look forwards, toes under, straighten the leg, inhale. Exhale, step back into downward facing dog. And just breathe, nice long inhale. Exhale it out. Good, now lift your head up, bring your knees up towards your ankles, cross them. I mean, your knees up to your wrist is what I meant. I called these ankles. I, I get those two confused. Uh, seems dumb, right? <laughs> Come all the way to the top of your mat, hands right around your shins, shoulders down, chest up, inhale. 
Exhale, breath, rounding your back. So scoop that belly in, come on down, keep holding onto your shins. You start to bring the legs with you. And then once the shoulders and the head come down, draw the knees in and then park your hands right on the kneecaps. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw these big kind of outward and in circles with the knees and then we'll reverse the direction. So the knees are in close to your body. Open the knees up so the toes stay together. Push away and close together. So there's one. Inhale, exhale around two. Inhale, exhale around three. One more time, inhale, knees in. Exhale out and around. Now keep your legs out there, open them up and then draw the knees in, close together, push them away. That's one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, and exhale three. Inhale, and exhale four. All right, so I want you to step your left foot down, flex your right foot, and you're gonna step your foot on the inside of this left inner thigh. So not crossing ankle over the thigh, we've done that. But I want you to step your foot right on that inner thigh muscle, your toe is up to the knee. Now pick that leg up and just draw the legs in. You can hook an arm under that ankle, however you wanna grab a hold, but it just allows that right knee to go out to the side just a little bit more than our normal kind of figure four stretch on the back. Good, and then just relax. Cross the ankle over your thigh, lift the foot up and bring the legs in. So again, you can grab foot and knee, you can reach around and interlace behind your left thigh. So as you're drawing the legs in, use your right elbow to kind of push the knee open. So you're kind of pushing against that right inner thigh creating a deeper stretch in that piriformis as you externally rotate the thigh. Good, now set that left foot down. Keep this right ankle right where it is. Left hand on the ankle. Just drop the legs all the way over here to the left. And then you're gonna stretch this right arm beside you. Look over your shoulder. Use your left hand now to push that thigh away. So you're gonna feel kind of a peculiar stretch here on the outside of this right hip. Turn your head to look right as you do that. Inhale, breath. Exhale it out. And now turn your head back to center and then just lift the whole contraption up, cross that right leg all the way over the left, just like that. And then you're gonna pick both feet up and just like a wishbone, you are going to pull your legs apart. So wherever you can grab, it might just be below the knees, maybe the calves, maybe you can grab a hold of your ankles, keep those feet flexed and then just draw the legs down towards the floor. You can even do a little rocking motion there, side to side, kind of massage that lower back into the mat. And just breathe, nice long, calming inhale breath. Exhale it out. Good, and then as you release, extend both legs up straight. Keep those legs straight up there. Inhale, breath. On an exhale, make a diamond shape with your legs. So the soles of the feet are together. You're gonna dive your hands through. So lift the upper spine off the floor. Draw those knees down, grab a hold of your feet if you can. And then as you rest the shoulders and head back down, it's like you're doing butterfly stretch on your back. So draw those feet in towards your chest and just rock side to side there. Good, now slowly release and then just bring the knees together, set the feet down, stretch the legs down, stretch the arms over your head. Let's just kind of reset that spine with a long inhale breath, reaching 
opposite direction. So toes to the front, arms to the back. And then exhale, breath, relax. Good, now bend your right knee. Draw that left knee in and then turn the leg out. You're gonna set your foot, again, from the inside of that knee down to here. So toes right there, heel on the center of that inner thigh. So just smack your foot right there. Now lift the right leg up and just draw the legs in. So however you wanna hold, you can grab your ankle and knee. You can actually grab underneath like that and just draw the legs in. So the difference here is this knee is just a little bit more out to the side, a little different stretch, kind of trying to hit all the different muscle fibers there in the glutes. Good, now set the right foot down. Go ahead and cross now that left ankle over the thigh, flex that foot. Lift the right leg up, and then again, you can grab knee and foot, reach through, interlace, draw the legs in, and then use this left elbow to push that inner thigh away from you as you are drawing the legs in. It's a wonderful stretch there in your piriformis, in the lower back, all through those glutes. Inhale, breath. Exhale it out. Now set your foot down, keep your legs just like they are. You're gonna let them fall over here to the right side, set that foot down onto the floor, and then just stretch this left arm out beside you, turn your head to look left. Now use your right hand to push that knee away from you here. So you're opening up right in here, wonderful stretch. Push it out and breathe, inhale. Exhale it out. Just turn your head back to center. You're gonna lift those legs up. Don't uncross just yet, because now what you're gonna do is cross that left thigh all the way over the right, and then lift the feet up, reach around, grab a hold of your ankles, and then rest the shoulders and head down, and then pull this way, like you're trying to pull your elbows to the floor, so you're like pulling the legs apart. I think of a wishbone when I do this. And then you can do a little rock side to side. Close your eyes and take a long inhale breath right here. Inhale. Longer exhale breath out. Okay, now as you like, resume. I don't know where you went. I looked up and it said broadcast paused. No pausing. We're almost done, almost made it to the end, glitch free. We need to do the uh, diamond shape stretch. So legs are straight up, bend your knees, feet are together, dive through, and then grab a hold of your feet, rest the shoulders and the head down, draw the feet in towards your chest, and then rock it side to side. So from here, we go into happy baby. So just open the legs up. So now the soles of the feet are facing the ceiling. Grab a hold and then just kind of pump those legs down. So there's a little rocking motion again across the lumbar spine. Good. Now extend the legs up straight. Reach the arms over your head. Inhale. And then exhale, breath. Bend the knees slowly. Set those feet down. And then extend the legs one at a time. 
full body stretch here from toes to fingertips. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. And then exhale, breath, relax. Allow your whole body to go limp. arms down away from your sides here palms are up shake your legs out to a wide V shape and then just kind of roll the legs back and forth there and then just let the feet flop open and the palms are facing up and just get as comfortable as you can right here on your back and for just three nice long breaths you're gonna take a big inhale breath through your nose filling up your lungs completely and then a long exhale breath out. And as you exhale, try to relax all the muscles in the body. Any tension that you feel as you scan from head to toe, just let it go. And then again, nice long inhale breath through your nose. Try to fill up your lungs, expand the rib cage, belly rising up a little bit. And then exhale breath, relax. Allow your body to just sink heavy into your mat. One more time. Nice long inhale breath through the nose, expanding the rib cage laterally, filling up those lower lobes of the lungs. And then super long exhale breath, empty the lungs out completely. Keep exhaling, exhale, exhale, exhale. And then just relaxing your face, relaxing your jaw, relaxing your forehead. Again, scanning your body from head to toe, anywhere that you might feel tension. Just try to let it go. Consciously sending the inhale breath there. And then just notice how the exhale breath carries it all away. Begin to wiggle your toes and wiggle your fingers a little bit. Maybe start to circle your ankles and wrists around. And then bend the knees one at a time. Set your feet flat to the mat. And then bring the knees in one at a time. Hook an arm under here, hook an arm under there. And then do a little bit of rocking side to side. And then bring your feet together, knees together, push the legs away. And as you do, let it peel your upper spine off the floor, tuck your chin, you're gazing right at your knees. And then a little rocking and rolling from back to front. Eventually, roll yourself up to a sit position. And then just scoot yourself on to your sit bones here, crossing your ankles. And then arms are here by your sides. Inhale, breath, floating those arms up over the head. Touching all the fingertips very lightly. Exhale the breath through pursed lips the whole time that those hands are coming down in front of your face, your chest, your belly, and then just sort of outline the legs. Do it again, floating those palms up. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath, float it down. about one more time. Inhale, breath nice and slow, big breath. Exhale, breath, floating the hands down. Bring your hands together and you are all done. Have a blessed Saturday. Thank you so much for coming. Hope you found your way back. I don't know what happened there just towards the end. It did a little broadcast paused thing. But at least it let me push resume. So I got you back, I think. <laughs> but normally it'll just say done, you know, cut you off. Have a wonderful Saturday. I will see you guys on Monday.
And if you didn't get a chance to do that abdominal exercise that I spoke of in the beginning of this class today, I want you to go back. I'm going to try and upload just a short segment of that only because it was brutal. I mean, I knew it was hard in the moment when I was doing it, and it was a new one that I had never actually done before, which is cool. I love finding something I haven't done before, at least that way. And it, I mean, my abs just feel like I've been slammed with a two by four, <laughs> but kind of in a good way. That sounds sick, I know, but you know, it's that feeling like, wow, you really worked your body hard, that kind of soreness. And it's already starting to dissipate. Yesterday was the worst. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Drink some ginger tea. I hope everybody's still doing that. Don't just do it two days and be done. Try it for a week. Seriously, you're going to feel a difference in your body. I'm pretty sure you're going to feel great. Even if you already feel great, you're going to feel greater. Let's feel gooder. <laughs> you feel good, let's feel gooder. All right, talk to you later. Bye.